So let me get started. The first thing we see in his astrological chart is a really strong 10th house. The 10th house has to do with the public image. And he has Leo sitting there. Leo is all about wanting to be seen, wanting to be heard, and really wanting the center stage. Leo craves the limelight. He has this position of the sun there. The sun in Leo is all about wanting to be the center of attention. He also has Venus there. And Venus is all about relationships and all about the aspect of love. He also has Mercury there. Mercury is all about communications. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing a strong stellium in Leo. This indicates someone who wants to be seen, wants to be heard, and really wants to be the center of attention. Sometimes Leo will say outrageous things to get the center of attention, and sometimes Leos are also known to perhaps exaggerate. And what we are seeing with this 10th house is we are seeing all of this in the limelight, all of this in the public image. So let's talk about his 12th house. The 12th house has to do with loneliness, it has to do with isolation, and it has to do with um, self-undoing. So he has a really strong 12th house. He has the moon in the 12th house. The moon is the emotions. The moon rules the personal self. The moon rules the subconscious mind. He has the moon sitting right next to the planet Mars. This can mean volatile, angry emotions. So on a personal basis, his personal life may be really, he may have a lot of unresolved anger and a really a lot of like unresolved trauma. The moon is in Libra. Libra wants harmo harmonious behaviors. Libra wants balance. Libra wants teamwork. But Libra also is very social. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing a very social position, the moon in Libra, in a very isolated house. So he wants, he wants to be social. He wants to be the center of attention. But we're seeing a deep, deep sense of isolation a deep sense and a deep sense of loneliness sense of loneliness which which probably leads him to being angry perhaps acting out impulsively as represented by the moon mars conjunction the moon wants harmony the moon wants balance in libra but again when sitting next to mars his emotions are angry and they're rash um, we're seeing someone who probably throws temper, tran temper tantrums and then probably feels really lonely and really isolated. So he has his Saturn sitting in the sixth house. The sixth house is all about karmic debts. Saturn is a very karmic planet. It's very heavy. It's very weighty. So Saturn in the sixth house indicates there's no shortcuts around work, around things like work and discipline, and he will spend hours and hours perfecting his work and enmeshing himself in his work. This is someone who definitely is of public service. However, because Saturn indicates, Saturn in the sixth house indicates um, karmic debts, it's also very heavy. It's almost like there's a part of his soul that may be wanting to be a public service to perhaps pay off some karmic debts in the past. So he has his Pluto in retrograde. Pluto is all about power. Whenever someone manifests a Pluto in retrograde in their astrology chart, that indicates a spilling over of power from previous lifetimes and someone who essentially is really all about checking their personal personal power this life. So when they abuse their power in, in this life with a Pluto in retrograde, it does not feel good and they are really putting themselves down a negative spiral. His Pluto is sitting next to the planet Jupiter. Plu whatever Jupiter is sitting next to, it expands. So this man has a really strong sense of power and he really has the ability to be able to accumulate power however it if he doesn't use his power wisely he's really going to be hurting himself he has a pluto and harmonious aspect to saturn indica indicating that he can spend hours and hours and hours 
of hard work. He can spend hours of long, you know, doing stuff like long research and really overcoming those challenging obstacles. So this man, I would say overall is, is, you know, has deep sense of loneliness and isolation, definitely has issues around power, a lot of karmic issues around the abuse of power and where the abuse of power has gotten him in the past, right? Um, and and where, it, where he's at with his abuse of power in relation to now. So what we are seeing in, on an evolutionary process is that it's very, very, very important that this guy be honest, that he be in integrity, and that he does not abuse his power. Because if he does, he's going to be really, you know, really putting himself in a negative place. So he has his north node, which is his karmic direction in the 12th house. And his north node is also in Libra. Libra is all about relationships. The 12th house is all about isolation. So what this means, along with that moon and Mars conjunction in the 12th house, again, it's themes of loneliness, themes of isolation. Also, two themes of self-undoing. The 12th house, because it's the last house, there's also this idea of needing to let go. So what we are seeing opposite of that 12th house is that south node, which is all about what you've done in the past and the energies that you're comfortable with. That south node is sitting next to Saturn. And that's very, very karmic and very weighty. That really indicates karmic debts for sure. So what he's really doing this life is he's paying off a lot of those karmic debts as indicated by that south node sitting next to Saturn position and he's moving towards a sense of needing to wrap things up. He's moving towards a sense of needing to emotionally undo things. He's moving towards a sense of needing to find a more universal sense of peace. However, his emotional state is definitely getting in the way and those explosive emotions are not helping him. So really the question here is whether or not he is telling the truth. We see that those really pronounced, you know, aspects in Leo, you know, Leo is all about the center of attention. However, Leo can really exaggerate the truth. So what I am surmising here is that, and you know, in relation to this, those, those sex scandals is that perhaps he could be stretching the truth. You know, he has a lot of loneliness, a lot of isolation. But he has this Leo, so he really wants to be seen and he really wants to be heard. So he will perhaps exaggerate the truth. Perhaps little things have happened here and there. But if he's talking about these crazy parties with drugs and all of this stuff like that, I personally would second guess that. So that's my astrological analysis of Madison Cawthorn. And thank you very much for watching.